we're trying to talk about how to reach a higher state of awareness even though one is functioning in the world. You begin, you begin to witness that everything is happening of its own and that there is no, nothing causing it to be that way. So we be, as you transcend cause, you, you, you then become aware that everything is happening spontaneously. If we sit down to meditate, let's say we sit down to meditate, the problem is almost always the thinkingness of the mind. So we'll talk now more about the meditative process in a formal sense. You know, Ramana Maharshi always recommended uh, that he's always, he always said you don't have to join a monastery to become enlightened. You, it, that the householder can go about his business and all he has to do is keep in mind, in the back of his mind at all times, who am I? So, I never agreed with who am I. The experiential awareness here is more what am I? It seemed to me who am I, which was not notoriously successful either as a mantra, uh, that who am I focuses you to look for another illusion, another definition, another pronoun of self. That which is experienced as the identity with the personal is transcended is a whatness, not a whoness. The whatness has the peculiarity of sense of self with a capital S, but that self is the allness of everythingness, and it's really beyond whoness. Um, some people who had been there too, his ashram, even after he died, you know, uh, had said that there was not a great deal of success with that method. And I always thought it's due to the whoness rather than the whatness. We'll explain the whatness today to try and clarify what I just said. Let's see, can we turn on this mystery machine here? <laughs> ah, hmm. All right, so, as you either, either you're in seated meditation, or as you're walking about in the world, because as you progress in spiritual work, the two are not different, the two become the same. Um, because all of life, because of the way you recontextualize your life, becomes a meditation. So on its highest level then, a meditation is merely the manner in which you contextualize your experience of aliveness. If you contextualize every instant of your existence as a dedicated dedication to the realization of God, all of your, your entire life becomes a meditation. So we cannot separate out meditation as this, and the you as that, and a this and a that. Meditation then is a way of contextualizing your life, let's say from a greater context, from a greater context.